When I was making this vice stop in an earlier video, I needed to be able to hold it securely while milling this slot. I was worried that if I clamped it by the vice this way, the slot might move as the material is removed, causing the part to close up around the end mill and trap it and cause it to break. So I wanted to do the whole operation with the part clamped to the table instead of held in a vice. I already had this hole here, so while I could have just used a clamp on the end, it felt much more secure to put a clamping rod through the hole and securely bolt the part directly to the table. The T-slot nut size for this table takes an M6 clamp set, and this hole is already M6, which at first thought seems like a good coincidence. This M6 clamping bar goes straight through the part, and then it goes into the T-slot nut. but with no direct control over the angle part is at. There's no way to adjust the match between the two threads here to control the angle whilst keeping the part clamped firm in the table. In order to make sure the part was clamped securely to the table independently of its angle, I needed a rod that would pass through the hole. So I made this. This is a clamping rod with an M6 screw at one end so that it can go into the T-slot nut and an M5 thread here which has just enough clearance to go through the M6 hole without engaging with the thread. This screws easily into the nut here. There's just enough clearance for the thread to fit, but it's easier to wind it around the thread than it is to force it over. And once it's in place against the table, it's easy to bolt it down with this flange nut. I raised the vice top off the table using parallels to help chip clearance. Initially I placed just one parallel just inside the threaded hole, but this allowed too much flexing. The second parallel the other side of the fixture solved the problem. I made the fixture rod by turning down the diameter of this piece of silver steel and cutting the threads with a high speed steel single point tool. Parted off and cleaned up at the end and the fixture was ready. The result worked perfectly and kept the vice stop part held securely throughout all the machining. The rod is now part of my clamping kit and I'm sure it'll get used again. Let me know if you're interested in more short videos on fixtures and small projects like this.